Welcome to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric, and I've got here what I refer to as my Baylor Twine 100% uh, extraction whole wheat bread recipe. I use it for bread, I use it for dough. Um, I'll let the bread machine do most of the work, apart from uh, producing the flour. And as you can see, this is uh, the same five and a half, half cups of flour that you'd uh, put in this machine for a full size loaf of white bread. And you can see it's risen very nicely. Uh, and right now the house is still filled with that heaty scent of freshly baked bread and it's awesome. Now why do I refer to this as my Baylor Twine uh, whole wheat bread recipe? Well I'll let my Aggie side show in my degrees in agriculture. Baylor Twine is fantastic. It, it's sort of an equivalent of duct tape. Um, jack of all trades, really strong, really versatile probably is used for uh, many more things than just baling. Uh, quantum number of things additional to baling. It's a great thing to have around. And this recipe offers the same versatility. Whether it's producing a loaf of bread like this or doing all sorts of other things with it, making buns, making bagels, making donuts, this is my go-to recipe if I just want something standard, something simple. So I'll knock this out. Whew, still a little bit hot. There we go, a little bit of rip out with uh, the bread machine paddle. This is an awesome recipe and it's really easy to repair. One of the things that you have to have though is very, very fine flour. You're looking at flour that's every bit as good as a commercial white flour in terms of texture. That's what you really need to get this nice uh, high rising porous structure as well as a few other things. There's egg in it as well as um, vinegar to uh, give that gluten. The less gluten in here the vinegar helps modify it so that it's stretchier so that it holds those air bubbles. And there's some more um, sugar in this mix in order to make sure that your yeast has all the energy to really produce and fluff up um, the dough. So with all those notes on how much I enjoy this particular recipe, I'll show you how to make it. So the great thing about a bread machine is it'll do the work for you. So we've got our liquid ingredients here and those are your egg, uh, the water, the vinegar, Again, to make uh, the gluten in uh, the whole wheat bread a little bit more elastic to compensate for its lower ratio compared to all-purpose flour. And we've got our oil in there. So we'll add that. We've already got the beaters in there. Don't make the mistake of leaving them out. Your results will suffer. I've done that from experience. Um, or it's a mess to get them back in. Then we've got our uh, whole wheat flour and this is just freshly ground. We'll add that. And then we've got here a couple lumps of sugar. We've got our sugar, salt, and yeast. And we'll just sprinkle that evenly over the top so that it gets mixed in. Just a little bit. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this into uh, the bread machine. And as it mixes, we're going to look and uh, do a check. Now with some whole wheat or regular uh, wheat bread recipes, you just toss them in. It's consistent enough that you won't have to change it. With fresh whole wheat flour or whole grain flours in general, what I find that I have to do is be prepared to add a little bit more water uh, to ensure that I have a, a moist dough. So something you want to start off with something that's much moister than you would normally have with an all-purpose or bread, uh, white bread flour mix. And that's because the whole grain flour will take a little bit longer to absorb the moisture and it'll keep pulling moisture long after your white bread uh, would have absorbed it. So you have to have that moisture there at the beginning so that as you go through your cycle it can absorb that moisture. Now if you have a whole wheat cycle on your machine 
put it on that. If not, the, the white uh, cycle will do. So I'll toss that in and you can go to the website. You can see the, the, in the show notes, there's uh, the recipe link. Uh, this, is, this is a recipe that I really love. As I said, it's my Baylor Twine bread. Uh, it's my go-to uh, for nearly everything, either as a, a loaf of bread or uh, in general for uh, doughs for uh, all nature of other things to produce. Um, so you can get the recipe in the show notes and you can also head over to the website if you're interested in enduringtechnologypress.com and see this and other cool things as well as the directions to produce the grain mill and other items that will help empower your independence. Thanks.